You're watching Local 10, home of Local10.com. WPLG Local 10 News at 5.30 starts now. Right now on Local 10 News at 5.30, there's almost light at the end of the first tunnel in the massive Port of Miami project. Hundreds of construction workers are going farther underground every single day and are now three quarters of the way through. And today, Nikki Mohan was right there as rescue crews learned firsthand they need to be prepared for any situation underground. At its deepest point, the tunnel is 120 feet under government cut, an already 4,000 feet across, stretching from 395 to Dodge Island. And with hundreds of construction workers constantly pushing the Port of Miami tunnel project closer to completion, what happens if one of them gets hurt? Thursday, Watson Island was the staging area for a massive drill. The scenario, a fire at a construction plant and two workers trapped deep in the tunnel. One of the challenges is as the tunnel gets further in and, and it's a longer walk that we have to go through to actually affect the rescue of somebody, the challenge is as far as equipment or transportation. We can't walk almost half a mile or a mile in bunker gear or equipment. Our air packs don't allow us. Special vehicles are being rolled out to enter the tunnel and specialized air packs or rebreathers that will allow firefighters to be underground for up to five hours at a time. Right now, the city of Miami is the first responder, but Miami-Dade and Miami Beach will also have to pitch in. And in an emergency, communication is key. This is a radio gateway interface. What it does is it makes incompatible radio systems into one channel. Lessons learned after 9-11, technology keeping everyone in touch. Many more drills by all the agencies will be done as this project evolves, especially when it goes from the construction phase to actual drivers going into the tunnel. We can't take a giant fire truck inside of a tunnel if it's backed up with cars. So you will, we're going to work on smaller vehicles, we're going to work on better equipment, we're going to work on better training. With all the new rescue equipment being bought surrounding this tunnel project, who pays for it? New equipment will have to be bought for Miami-Dade Fire, Miami Beach Fire, and the city of Miami. Well, Lori and Calvin, the city taxpayers don't have to worry about footing the bill because there is a federal fund set up for this kind of project. Okay, Nikki, thanks a lot. And Nikki says there is still a year and a half left in the construction phase. The tunnel is set to open in late 2014.